Hello guys and welcome to episode 20 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight, leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Previously we used Othiodai to take Solfreds, he's going to be heading north soon, but we're just going to level him up and we'll be moving over to our other units. We'll give him Rebroth so that he can heal himself up. Let's head over to Glamour Weaver Findol, who is in range to hit Bill Barley. So that's what we're going to do next. Ikiklaw is over here at the Burrow, which is interesting. We're going to have to go back for him at some point. For now, we're just going to hit Bill Bally. That is interesting. It is a settlement battle. We do have some reinforcements. We also have some orcs. <laughs> okay, let's jump on in. I really don't like these Skaven settlements, they are very difficult to attack. So I technically could have attacked one of the soldiers outside of the settlement in order to do this battle, or one of the lords outside of the settlement, so that it pulls out the garrison. But this way is actually better because it means we have more control with our ranged forces. Like the Skaven Slayers aren't just like running all over us like absolute loonies. So what we're going to do anyway is I'm not even going to go touch the walls initially. We're going to have all of my melee forces go for the gate. We'll have my dragon. And my eagle go for the Skaven Slave Slingers. The rest of my forces here can just move up and get out of line of sight of the towers on the sides because these two shouldn't be able to shoot us. Right then, with the t with the uh, gate destroyed, what we're going to do is actually climb the walls with the ranged forces. We should probably stop these firing for now, because they're wasting ammunition. So yeah, they can go climb. There is a little bit of a blind spot there. And the main thing is, we got to make sure we're not wasting shots on Skaven Slaves. There's a lot of Skaven Slaves there. I guess one thing is like we our deepwood scouts can kill Skaven slaves. Ready for war. Go! Prepare for combat. Let's just dive into these. I'm gonna make this into a group. Well, my eternal guard went up on the hill. Up the wall, that is. <laughs> Not the hill. also went up here. Deep wood archers. Okay. <laughs> sure. Hold position. Alright, we're gonna turn them back on Farewell. Way watchers. We never miss those of Athelorin. Get the Zotes inside. Let's just get my lord across. We're going to dump a breath attack into this melee engagement. Ooh, that hurt. That bounced perfectly. I'm going to want to go take out the Grace here. 
watchers. Deepwood archers. Steady. Steady. Son of Athel Lord. Battle ready. Our aim is true. Children of Athel Lauren. Right, let's have the Way Watchers climb the walls. No lingering. Get the crossbowmen up there, these Deepwood Scouts as well. Archers ready. We gotta stick on him. Actually, while he's up in the air, uh, let's use his breath attack. Because that's a big target. It's also a good target for a pit of shades, actually. Although we don't have pit of shades, so yeah, that's a shame. I will do that at least. Big damage. Let's get some more damage in. Oh, we cancelled it. We're gonna Attack! kill the clat, uh, the grace here. That it's good. Right, let's put these on fire up well now as well. We're gonna get the Eternal Guard to go down into this melee. Warriors of Ariel. Spot us the target. Oh, that unit's actually being wrecked right now by the Night Runners. Hold position. I stand ready. We're gonna go dive my lord into this melee now. Although it looks like we're done with that. It's just a warlord, so we won't have warp lightning or anything. Let's just heal those up. Get the old breath attack in there. Surely good. I could have the eagle join me as well. Going to have this one move around to the left there. Are they getting off the walls? Mm, don't want them to do that. <laughs> want them to come around this way, on top of the wall. Loaded, sir. All right. I'm just going to tell them to shoot the night runners. The warlord's taking a lot of damage, which is good. Tell you what, my melee force is going to have a ton of kills. Just wish I had a bit more healing. I mean, we do have, actually, we do have lifeblood. <laughs> I should be using that. Keep units healthy. Crossbowman! 
can die when we have the walls. Go on, crossbows. Get him. They are using dark forces against the enemy. Bows of Athol Loran. At pace. Now. Dauntless Azrae. Bowman ready. I can do another Helm of Discord. Right, these can shoot the Night Runners as well. These can shoot into the back of the Clan Rats there. Crossbows ready, General. Shaman. Good. Do another Lifeblood. Keep things healed up nicely. Archers ready. At pace. So that actually stops all of them from moving. That's actually massive. It's going to be so useful when we actually have some decent magic. Like, I don't, I'm not sure if my branch wraith can get put of shades, but if it can, then that's going to be huge. I'm just kind of spreading as much damage as I can now. Definitely not going to run out of ammo anytime soon. I think I was a bit cautious on the ammo, to be honest. I was just worried that we'd be in a position where we, like, waste all our ammunition on the Skaven saves and then we wouldn't be able to kill anything else. But it seems like we've already got the majority of the units that we needed to. Just got to make the rest run away. I'll put them all on guard. And I can give them more efficient targets. Oh, nice hit there. Bindle <laughs> is actually pretty baller right now. Doing a ton of damage. I'm just trying to make as many units run as I can. Alright, let's just go ahead and run towards the back of the map. Bring all our troops with us. Right click stuff till it finishes. I need these like stray units that are running around. Should be gone. 
because my ranged units can just shoot them from any direction. I'll capture the main square. Okay, that's victory. And the battle there. It was a bit of a Pyrrhic victory. But my melee forces did so well. Like those war dancers just chopping through the waves of Skaven slaves. Didn't actually end up losing too many men. Like a couple of these Deepwood Scouts were a bit low for my liking. But otherwise, yeah, look at that. Lovely damage. Wipe out all of those armies. We'll raise that. And if I can, I'll want to take it as well. No, I actually moved to be back into friendly territory, so can't complain. Right, let's get swinging bows done. That's going to make the war dancers even stronger. My branch wraith can't get pit of shades, can it? No. Uh, evasion. Is that a good idea? I think we should go Endurance of the Oak first. Right, let's go over to Orion. Orion's zooming on back. At Laurelon, we do have the Forest Lookout. Maybe when we get to max level, we build the cavalry building as well. Well, they might be better just global recruit a bunch of calf. Right, I think the hero moved, maybe. Has it debated me again? Yeah, it has. I don't know why I don't get any extra movement as well. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> Uh, Oli Arbuth. Gotta go to Castle Baston. We could just, like, jump over. I don't know if we'd get there if we went this way. Maybe if I march. That might be good enough. Alright, now time for Draker and Arden to do their work. We're going to be going towards a cold torturous. So zoom up this way. We'll have to march him to keep up. It's a shame I would have liked to have recruited a little bit, but never mind, I suppose. We have an outpost upgrade potentially available at Dittershafen. Hmm. Tempting. Not going to bother for now. Next time we do get the Kadai done, which is good. We get 7,986 a turn at the moment. We should definitely consider making a new army. Like maybe at Griffinwood we kind of have to because of Tretch. Although Tretch is... That's a lot of Skaven slaves. I don't think we have to worry too much. Hmm. Where else could we build one? I mean, we could build one down here at the Oak of Ages. That way we can go deal with like the Ogres if we end up at war with them. Because we should have like enough recruitment buildings around here. We can get like Way Watchers, for example. We can get Blade Singers if we get the S Ray Armory. I think I might put in here. Although that is a nice one. Plus 20% oh, reload time reduction for Hawk riding units. 
That is pretty massive. Should definitely pop that in there. But yeah, I kind of want this building as well. The Astray Armory. But I don't want to get rid of these three. I could maybe get rid of this unit. Or like this building. The Forest Lookouts. Yeah. And I think we'll build a new one here. So we currently have... Let's have a quick look. We've got Sisters of Twilight. We've got Tree Singer. We've got Findle. Orion. Dirthy. Oliaruth. Dryker. And Arden. So I think I'll probably go for an elf. Either another spell weaver. Or we could bring back Daith. Who is the original owner of... Val's Anvil. He has plus 15% range on his army. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, let's bring back Daith. I have no idea what he's actually teched up as. He has Wonders of the Forest. He has got Inspiring Presence, Dance of Loic. This is a bit annoying. Um, but otherwise all good. Like it would have been nice to be able to get Eye of Kurnus as well. But that's fine. Proud son of I mean it's still going to be useful if our ranged forces get into melee. So can't complain. We're going to grab Waywatchers from uh, good old Crackles. We'll start building up that army I think. The other thing we can do with this army is actually do these missions. Well, actually, no, those are quest battles. But if there's any of like the forest health ones popping up, we can go and do those. Which it doesn't look like there actually is. <laughs> no, look at it. Uh, anyway, could level that up. That's no need. Let's grab the Starlight Forge for the extra armor for Eternal Guard and Glade Guard in all armies. That includes garrisons as well. It's pretty big. And we're going to put in the Roots of Garan. I don't know why I have all slots unlocked. Weird. And right, we're going to do this one now, for sure. Plus five melee defense for Wildred Ranger units and all armies. Because uh, a lot of these garrisons do have Wildred Rangers. Let's just quickly check diplomacy. Uh, maybe we can trade with some dwarves. Ready. Zifbar actually like us a lot. Right. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before Oath Gold. Agreed. We'll do that. Sure. Grab a non-aggression pact as well. And then <laughs> Kalakadrin. Some call me a king. You are welcome here. We'll pop another one there. That's fine. Agreed. Could almost get a defensive alliance with them. <laughs> Might do in the future. I'm here. There'll be plenty of time for talk. It would be good if we could actually become friends with them. They are starting to like us more. Not one greetings. I sway to lower tune. For uh, what else? Anyone else wants a trade agreement? Let's just do quick deals. Sing the song. I don't think I can sway anyone else. It's okay. Now becoming friends with the dwarves. Dorothy is not going to be happy about that, but it is what it is. Right. Let's carry on. I mean, if anything, what we can do with Durthu is just have him go and deal with uh, Icky Claw for us. Because it looks like he's kind of heading back towards Skaven Blight. We don't want to give that up. The thing is, I really want to just wipe out the pirates of Sartosa. Get rid of them. Once and for all. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I'll take the victory there. Thank you very much. Castle Tempelhof just bouncing off it. She is dawn and I am dust. And we're being declared on by Wintertooth. <laughs> they now have a lot of enemies. <laughs> The thing that's crazy about this is like every time we enter into a new war with someone and we call in all of our reinforcements, we end up like re increasing our relations with those people even more because we're in more wars with them. Anyway, this is uh, another silly battle. I didn't even take it. It'll be so good to get rid of those. Uh, Pesky Skaven. Very good. Plus 5% campaign map movement range for Orion. Forest. Like it. Another talisman I can give him. We can give him a potion of healing as well. That's pretty big. Alright. Kadai is done. Very good. And now... We go towards, we could go towards Asurian as well, which is another plus 15 diplomatic relations with the High Elves. Mathlan could be good. Isha could be good. Global recruitment redu duration reduction by one turn. That is big. I think we go this way. Can I not go down and then across? Oh, I actually can't. I have to come all the way through. I mean, that's a fine because I'm actually finally using like Elven infantry units. So getting Elders Law, Lord of Blades is actually pretty big. This one's kind of pointless, although well, I guess it could come in handy. Yeah, we're just going to go up that way now. Alright, so this is the Twilight. Uh, we will go and attack towards Eshin now. So let's go hit this army. Or to resolve that. Do they have magic attack? I don't know if they get magic attack anyway. Might be worth having. I kind of want to keep this army topped up, so we'll take the replenishment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attack this army outside of the settlement. Although they don't have any... Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll just go for this. Attack. Yeah, so these are going to be reinforcements. This is fine. I want them to be reinforcements because it just allows me to, like, snipe this initial force before dealing with the next force. So I can just, like, kill Henrik while there's nothing around. So we have a nice choke point, but we're actually not going to be able to make that good use of it, which is kind of amusing, uh, since we have our eagle army pretty much. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Right, what I'm going to do is we're just going to use the ammo to shoot at Henrik. No, you're not supposed to shoot your own units. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about this. Alright, shoot the Strigoi Gul King. Please. Any times a day. Oh, 
Got a good. Goodbye. <laughs> right. We'll just push. Kill these as well. Technically, I don't even need to fire at these. I could just charge into them. Like, what are the zombies gonna do? Let's be honest. Taking a bit longer to die than I expected, though. <laughs> Always the case. <laughs> this is crazy. Right, they're gonna want to take off. Oh, that's not good. Spread out. Before this boy gets here. Big ouchies. Now. Your command. Get rid of the fell bats. Hand of the forest. God, this is so annoying. Lighting the path. <laughs> We're just gonna blitz this entire army. Oh, these ones are actually being fired at by the Sylvanian crossbowmen. Right, spread them out. We're going to do Prey of Anathrema on him. Then we can shoot him to death. Awaiting orders. And then after he's dead, we'll just put these on fire at well. And just fly around. Goodbye, Vlad. Great. Uh, I might just go Breath Attack. For harmony, for the hunt. Actually, we could probably go a bit further back, so then I can start using their abilities. Yeah, we'll Breath Attack the Sylvanian Crossbowman. I'm also going to drop the Eagle Quiver on them. Oh, 
Okay. Let's just get all of the units firing off their abilities again. I kind of want to poise, like pause it at some point and have them all fire at the same time. It looks so freaking cool. They're all going to crumble any second. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. <laughs> Not the cleanest battle, but I'll take it. Definitely could have been a lot cleaner. Eleven thousand in the treasury. Very nice. And we'll just cap out our units again. And we'll take out Eshin. Goodbye. Ooh, that's a nice raise. Don't mind if I do. Am I in range to colonize as well? Yes, I am. Brilliant. And that is the end of the vampire counts. Very nice. Well, not all of them. I would assume that... Um, I was going to say that the other chap's still alive. What's his name? I uh, can't think off the top of my head. The chappy down south. It'll come to me at some point. I can't believe I can't remember it. Anyway. Yeah, there might be another vampire count down here. Though he might be dead. It looks like he might be dead. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe that was the last of the vampire counts. <laughs> Let's just build that up. And uh, after that, we'll go take Castle Drakenhof. And then... I don't know where we're going to go from there. I mean, we're now friends with the dwarves, so that's fine. Uh, we will probably... Go north, maybe? Or I could actually go take the Forest of Gloom quick. That's not a bad shout. Yeah, just come down south. I would need to get a non-aggression pact, or not non-aggression pact. Uh, easiest way we'd be able to get military access. Go on, then. Zufba, so we can just move through the lands. I have so much money, I just don't care about handing it out. Right, so this is Metable Hemlock. He attacked Iron Spike previously. Let's just go and take him out. Should be relatively simple. We actually ran away from that engagement, so I'm going to assume this is an easy order resolve. Oh, it says Valiant Defeat. Weird. It might have been because of the garrison coming to help us, but we'll play it out. Should be fine. It's a little bit of a weird army to engage because they do have rattling guns and these uh, warp grinders can tank a little bit of damage. They might get close enough to do some damage to us, but for the most part I can just stand back and take them out that way. Look at this scheming corrupted land. Disgusting. I'm actually going to have the Briads behind, so we don't block our line of sight.
Alright, come on lads. Fire away. <laughs> no one just did that in nothing. Unless they're just not doing any damage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> I was going to say. Not a fan of this flank. Uh, what could we put these on to the rattling guns? Rattling guns quickly. Where are they going? I have no idea. Riders ready now. Glade guard. Right, those are running away. Let's just focus the next one. Need to hit that rattling gun. Need to hit those Gaven Stave Slingers. Those Glade Guard just got absolutely wrecked. Behind us. I oh, wasted that one. Let's go dive into them. I thought I can tank this a little bit, so it's fine. Awaiting orders. Cavalry. Yes. That's it, it's victory. And they already retreated once, so we'll just end the battle, I think. Take that, thank you very much. Wonderful. That should destroy them all. I might take the replenishment because we're moving on to the next settlement. Yeah, they're all dead. That's good. Uh, we should be able to hit Tyrant's Peak next turn. Alright, let's just level up the Lina. Uh, we will just try and max out the Amber Spear. I can also give her some stuff because she doesn't have any. I don't know if that's actually a good idea though. Give her that. We can give her... Spell shield, that's fine. Like, I don't want to give her the glittering scales because it's actually good for someone who's in melee. Uh, she doesn't need a weapon. Uh, Obsidian amulet's actually good for her as well. Kind of command could be useful. And then maybe a scroll of shielding. Cool. And then for the ancillaries, we can actually give her. The ones that give us movement range. And there was the one we just got. The Royal Standard Bearer. Perfect. We don't have any war dancers. Fowl's Anvil might be a good idea. Uh, let's do actually, Forest Spirit's good. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm just getting her spell resistance up because She's most likely to be targeted by spirit leeches and stuff like that. Okay. Findol. Time for you to take Bill Bali again, apparently. To arms! 
Uh, okay, we'll go get Bilbali because I don't want to have to chase down that army. It's a Pyrrhic victory. Gross. Give me that. Get out of here. Stupid rats. These are dark times. Glade Lord, and we'll get some service. decent replenishment from this at least. Go through to rally. I'm going to put evasion on this guy now. A little bit of speed. Only really good. Alright, Orion. Time for you to get on land. We're running around to Lauren Forest because I want to be able to like, recruit more and also defend it from the Ritual of Rebirth. If I upgrade that, does that give us like more hero capacity again? Or is it just recruit rank? We'll do this first. Dirthu. Like, am I gonna get your base again if I do this? Because it's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna go into. I'm just gonna go this way. It's so much safer. And it just means that we will actually attack it next turn. All right, Honiaruth. Gonna be going attacking Castle Baston. All right, we'll have to jump on in and fight this manually. Okay, let's see, pretty simple settlement to attack, I think, Only like one tower on each side, this is cool though, I like the Bretonian architecture on this, it's really cool, let's just go in on the left side. Right, I'm gonna have all of these just go through the gate, I think. Kill them! We obey. Understood. We never miss. At base. Show us the foe. Blade guard. The forest. Just moved into the blind spot of the towers. We'll just speed things up whilst we do. I do have Pit of Shades, so them coming together is really good. She also has Dwellers Below as a bound spell, which is huge. So she's got Assault of Stone, Dwellers Below, and Pit of Shades. Like, it doesn't get better for AoE damage actually pretty incredible. I technically could try and climb a little bit, but I don't know. Let's hit the Orc Arla boys on the right side there. The handgun has taken a bit too much damage for my liking. Probably not going to push through with the Knights of the Realm. But we will use them to break down the gate. It's fine. Right, let's get him inside. Go kill the trolls. Drop. 
A penetrates down this side. I'm gonna do dwellers below on this side. Uh, maybe let them pile up a bit more first. They're really not doing too well, though. Orders understood. Cardos, bless us. Spellweaver ready. Yeah, we'll do dwellers below here. And drop another pit of shades up here. Can also sort of stone this. So much damage. Gonna dump a Melkos on the Orc boys. Oh, we seem to do, be doing okay now. It's kind of stabilized a little bit. I might put on the Shadows coil on both of these War Dancers just so they can hold. That tower is a little bit annoying. Let's just go for guard on these. If you take out the Orkala boys there. These probably need to go. Let's see if I can get them out the gate. Honestly, Oliaroth just like carrying this battle. Because my war dance is getting super low. Like, I should really try and get them out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Straight away. Just so we can keep him alive. Good. Let's climb the wall. What are my mortars doing in there? Holy moly. Alright, drop your shit and get out of there. And you boys, don't fire through them. <laughs> it's probably because I right click something and then they didn't have guard on. <laughs> I just end it there. <laughs> that was so silly. Just didn't want my mortars to die. <laughs> We didn't. I was gonna say we didn't lose anything, but one of those glade guard died. I didn't see that happen. Oh, I guess I'm, maybe I was too fixated on keeping my war dancers alive. I would raise this, but we don't need the money, and I need the, the replenishment. So we'll just do that.
We'll just take it. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. Pretty good. Broken axe is destroyed. Simple as that. Let's take the sacrificial grounds because we will be attacking Blackstone posts. To the sounds. We have two free slots. What can we fill it with? So we can recruit Dryads to fill the gap, maybe. Probably the only thing. Yep. It'd be really nice when we get to this Sitherai. It's going to take 26 turns, but minus one global recruitment duration means that all of these global recruitment are going to be only one turn, which means we can pretty much pull entire armies out of our ass. Going to be great. Everything that's not super high tier anyway. All right, let's get the speed of the hunter. And we'll want weight finger. All right. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll probably let High Weaver Oliaruth recover her forces a little bit before moving on to Blackstone Post. But yeah, he's definitely close to dying. It's good old Heinrich Kemmler and his faction. We have Dreyker to move, though. So it looks like Talapheim will be a target for us. Cool. That's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.